Let's continue doing this problem. In a previous video, we explained the formation of this product and how it was a major product because essentially requirement for the E2 reaction is that we have the leaving group and the beta hydrogen they need to be anti periplanar And in doing so, we found that the staggered conformation that leads to the formation of this product has it to final opposite. So now let's uh, do the other product. So I'm going to start redrawing the Newman projection of the structure that I have above. That's my point of view. So I'm going to be looking at, let me grab another P and let me see if that's better. Yeah. So this is the carbon, that's carbon, and we say that's phenol. Then bromine to the right, right? It's an elevation I'm looking for here, therefore the bromine is to the right. And I don't see the hydrogen, but it's one hydrogen there, it's not drawn. The other carbon has a phenol here. And uh, next I have a hydrogen and a hydrogen. Before, we say that this is hydrogen A and hydrogen B. You just label them. So, um, no, um, actually not. Uh, what I need to label is the two hydrogens in the carbon in the back. Why? Because those. this is the one that is going to do the elimination with the bromine, which is this is my alpha carbon in the front, so the beta hydrogens are in the back. So let's see what we need to do now to form the other product. So what I'm going to do is to rotate the carbon in the back, generate another Newman structure in which this hydrogen is going to be opposite to the bromine, so that they are anti -perplanar. So another drawing. In the other drawing, doing the rotation I just explained, we're going to leave the carbon in the front the same way, so phenyl here, and as I said, I'm going to bring this hydrogen over here, and this was my hydrogen B as I labeled it, and this is now hydrogen A, and now I have phenyl over here. Next step, let's see, we have the base, we'll be abstracting the hydrogen that is antiperplanar to the leaving group. So etoxide is going to come here and get this product. Electrons here are going to make a double bond between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon in the back. And then this, you have the loss of leaving group. So what, um, what we have as a result is the following. Now I have in the front carbon, I still have this hydrogen and have a phenyl. Now let's see what, it, what is at the carbon in the back. We will have this hydrogen and a phenyl. So now I'm going to be drawing hydrogen and a phenyl. And already I see that the, two, the two phenyl groups next to each other. The Newman projection is like this. So I'm now redrawing. It was like this. So I'm going to redraw it in this uh, plane. So double bond is here. Carbon in the front has a phenyl and a hydrogen, and the carbon in the back, I have a phenyl here, see here to the same side of that, and a hydrogen. So that is the C's isomer. And we see this is not uh, the major pro in the E2, uh, because notice that the conformation here has a lot of clashes here. It is a stagger, but it has two big groups next to each other. So this conformation is too high in energy, and this is why we don't get as much of the, um, of the Cs. The major product is the trans still B. Now, we said at the beginning that this is a strong base, strong nucleophile. So in this is a secondary alkyl halide. We analyze the formation of the E2 products and determine that the major is the trans. Now, there is also a product, a substitution product, and this is what we're drawing next. So, but the substitution product in this condition say, strong base, strong nucleophile, and um, a secondary alkyl halide, which is our case, the substitution is going to be minor. 
So, but let's draw it. Similar to the E2, the S entry process is concerted and it happens with a backside attack of the nucleophile. So, I'm going to safely draw my um, this is structure just to show the backside attack. So, I'm going to have coming here. And this is fennel, that's another fennel. So this bromine is pointing, say, towards you, so it is in a wedge. So the nucleophile is going to come from the backside. This is me, so it's going to come over here. In etoxide, because it's coming from the back. And this is a concerted mechanism, as we know. Well, this wiggle arrow, I don't like it too much. So I'm going to replace it by another arrow, the proper arrow for mechanism. It's not that. So this is the right arrow, it's like so. And then we're going to have the, in a concerted fashion, the departure of the living group. So the other product that forms is a substitution, but you are going to have, since the attack is on the back, this will have an inversion of configuration. So the minor product, if this was S, this is R, about the absolute configuration. Okay, so recap, reaction, strong base, strong nucleophile. In secondary alkyl halide, you will have both the E2 and the SN2 reactions happening, but E2 is major. And the preferred uh, E2 product is the trans, and we said why? We explained it because it forms through the more stable uh, conformation. And the um, minor product will be the substitution product, with, remember, always happened with inversion of configuration at the alpha carbon. Okay, that's all for that problem.